All right, this is the last part of the notes. So right here on number eight, domain and range. Remember, go left to right first. So going to the left, boom, it does have a stop. It stops right there at negative one because we're just looking at the x values. When we go to the right, continues forever, continues forever. So we're just comparing our x values to negative one. If there's one stop, there's one symbol. Are my x values bigger or smaller than negative one? They are bigger. So open up towards the x. This is a closed dot, so it gets included. Now for our range, we're just looking at the bottom and the top. At the bottom, that arrow keeps going. At the top, that arrow keeps going. So on this one, our range is going to be all real numbers. All right, now let's look at number nine. Number nine looks kind of interesting because it's just a straight line going up and down. Our domain is our x values. Go over here, one, two, and do I have any x value other than two? Can I go left or right any? No, I can't. So this one is just x equals two because there are no other values for my x. Now for my y values, keeps going down forever, keeps going up forever, so our y values is going to be all real numbers. All right, last one, look at number 10. I want you to try to solve it, push pause. After you solved it, uh, push play and see the answer. All right, so on our domain, we're looking left and right. On the left side, I've got an arrow. On the right side, I've got an arrow. Continues forever, so our domain is all real numbers. For our range, from the bottom to the top, boom, that's the only y value that hits our values. Or sorry, that hits our line. It's at negative one, two, three, and four. So our y values, negative four, and they're always gonna be negative four. So it's just y equals negative four. All right, guys, I hope these notes were helpful. If you have questions, uh, send me an email or put a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.